Hi there, how's it going? This is Amin Chamani and we are here to talk about and enjoy football. Football has always been my passion since I can remember and I love to share all this excitement with you. Welcome to my channel. Many of us have been playing football for years but maybe a few of us have enough information about the history of this incredible sport. So for starting our journey, I decided to pick this topic. Hope you enjoy it. Let's dive into it. Have you ever wondered who were the first people who played football? Let's take a look at how it began and got to the point that over 1 billion people watched 2018 FIFA World Cup Final. I always think it is interesting. The idea of playing with a round shaped object, but not a regular game. A game without the permission to use the body part human being probably used the most, hand. Today. It's really wonderful. Apparently, people in China, Egypt, Greece, and Japan were the first ones playing games with a rule somehow similar to the football we know today. Chinese game was called Tsuchu, also pronounced Suju or Suchu, which means kicking the ball. Is believed to be played by soldiers initially, maybe as a part of their training. Playing football as a military training seems fun to me, but maybe not to them back then though. Okay, get back to Tsuchu. Tsuchu was basically kicking a small leather ball stuffed with fur and feather into an opening in a net between two bumbo poles in a 30 feet height from the ground. Reminds me of Quidditch. Is it just me? Any Harry Potter fans? Then there was Komori, a Japanese game, in which players have to keep the ball in the air using any body part but not hand. I really love this training, you know, it's kind of challenging. Yeah. Flores love us since then. Here we get to the first games called football in Britain in 700 AD. People in East England used to play it unofficially and the game was pretty violent. Even death wasn't unlikely to happen during football. So, not surprisingly, it was banned legally until 1605. Football was really popular in England, you know that, and it was played by many people, including college students. Eventually, on 1815, some teachers and students gathered and wrote a set of rules for football for the first time. Good job, guys! The game we are discussing here had somehow involved the usage of the hands and was a mixture of football and rugby. Maybe not that much of a good job. Just kidding. So the rules make the game official and professional. And I really appreciate them. We also know that in 1820, some great universities of America were playing football. But it wasn't until 1848 that all schools, colleges, and universities decided to follow similar rules, aka Cambridge rules. However, people in Sheffield definitely were more interested in their own rules as they made them official in 1857 while forming the first football club ever, Sheffield Football Club. On 1863, a year after the first football club outside Ungan was formed in Boston, US, 11 clubs and schools in London gathered to set uniform rules. They formed Football Association and in the same year, football and rugby got separated. The word soccer is originated from the word association to define the game which was based on association rules while the other group were indeed playing rugby. Football Association Cup aka FA Cup has been started by the association on 1871 
the first official tournament that is being held until now. This trophy is an exact copy of the original one, which was stolen and was never found. They are using this one instead between 1893 and 1910. Theft of football trophies has occurred several times during history, but that's going to be a whole other video. By the way, on 1869, the no-hand rule was added to the football rules. Finally, although I'm fond of goalkeeping, I'm obviously obsessed with this rule. Here we go for the first international game that was between England and Scotland on 1872. which resulted in nil-nil draw. That's a shame. I mean, someone should have scored for the sake of 4,000 people excited to be present in the first international football match. Don't you agree? The final agreements on football rules all around the world has been set on 1877, consisting mostly of the association rules and some of the Sheffield rules. It was kind of fascinating to me. You know, Sheffield wasn't standing aside by no means. Like, they had to make sure of having some impact. Determination. On 1904, FIFA was established by Belgium, France, Spain, Netherlands, Sweden, Switzerland, and Denmark. Finally, countries other than England got involved. I was waiting. It took forever. England joined one year later, and in the next nine years, countries like South Africa, America, Canada, Chile, and Argentina joined FIFA, which made FIFA a worldwide association. And 26 years later, in 1930, FIFA held the first FIFA World Cup tournament, which is held until today. Thankfully, I seriously can't find any events I look forward to more. This is for today's video. Please let me know in the comments if you have anything interesting about the football history that I missed. I really love to learn from you guys. Thank you for watching the video to this point. If you enjoyed, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos about football. Have a great day, guys. Bye.